Hey everybody, it's Shauna, and I know it's been a while since I've done a video, but I figured this would be a good time to pick it back up. Um, if you can tell, I am at the airport. It is now 2 a.m. and my flight leaves at 6 a.m., but I knew I would probably oversleep, especially having to be at the airport at 4 a.m., so I'm going to spend the night at the airport. I have my travel pillow and my blankie that my mom got me. I just spent the past probably two hours condensing four bags into three, because I also have my Zuka. So hopefully I can check just the really big one and carry on the other two and they don't include my purse as a carry-on. I'm gonna try to swindle it, but you know, we'll see. I'm on my way to Barbados, did I already say that? I'm tired, y'all. Um, to work on a film, this is my second time traveling to Barbados to work on a film. I am the department head for the makeup and hair department, so yeah. I will check in once I check in for my flight. See you soon. For your comfort and safety, please return to your seat and fasten your seatbelt. For your comfort and safety, please remain seated and keep your seatbelt fastened until the captain turns off the seatbelt sign. Please leave all carry-on items stowed and keep the aisles clear until the seatbelt sign has been turned off. So, it is still day one of my 30-day trip to Barbados and it is about 45 minutes until my birthday. Um, we went out to this fake casino that's across the way and then walked to this restaurant that's right around the corner and I just had this amazing dinner of coconut curry shrimp. Like the food here is beyond. I had my roti as soon as I arrived, got that out of the way and yeah, as soon as I got off the plane, I got picked up. And I went to the crew meeting, and then we had a table read with the actors from the film right after that. Um, so then me, the DP, and the uh, gaffer hung out for a little while. And so, where did I leave off? Oh, at the airport, right? But before that, I, of course, I inserted some pictures and some video of my plane ride. So you guys can see how awesome the weather is and how blue the water is. Like, this place is gorgeous. But anyway, remember I was saying that I didn't know what I was going to do about my luggage? Well, I ended up being able to condense it. And so then I had, initially I had this huge suitcase, um, my a pink duffel bag, my Zuka backpack, a smaller suitcase and my mommy bag which is my purse which is huge um, and I you know you can only take two carry-ons including your purse which is dumb to me like why does that count as a carry-on um, 
I'm trying to set this up so I don't have to hold it. And um, what else? I was able to get rid of the smaller suitcase because it was getting ready to break anyway. It was on this last leg. So I fit all my stuff in the really big suitcase, the duffel bag. Um, is that it? Yes, yeah, so I just had those three bags. The big suitcase, the duffel bag, the Zulu bag, and my purse. And then, so I was like, oh my God, how much am I going to have to pay to check these bags? Because the real big suitcase, no way I could sneak and carry that on. But when you travel international, your first bag is free. So I took full advantage of that because that bag was extra big and probably overweight. But it was free because I was traveling overseas. So then I still had the dilemma of three carry-on bags. So you know what I did? Because TSA opens at 4.30. So I was in line about 4.15 along with everybody else. And I was in line and I had my blanket and my pillow. And I kind of hid <laughs> the purse. So really you only saw. I didn't really hide it. Just I strategically placed it on the other arm so you could see it. So, um... And I do have on clothes, in case y'all were wondering. Um, I went right through. They didn't say anything. And I essentially took three bags on. My Zuka bag came through. It went through TSA with all the makeup and stuff in it. But if you look at your foundations and stuff, because what do I have in there? The foundation that I carry in my kit is Space Atelier. I have some MAC face and body liquid foundations, some black opal liquid foundations, black opal stick foundations, Graftobian foundation palettes, and some other stuff. But they're all under three ounces, which is what you're supposed to have. And then in the Zuka, you know, you put it in the pouch. They all fit with no problem, and TSA didn't say anything to me. I did remove my scissors. I put my scissors in the bag that I checked because I ain't one with stuff. And also, like, um, I had a hairspray. So if I curl my hair up, that was in the bag that I checked also. So I made it through with no problem. I mean, all the bags was heavy, carrying from one flight to the next and all that foolery, but it worked out. And so that is the end of day one. Um, like I said, I just finished eating. I'm tired. Uh, yeah, but so the weather is like 82. It was hot when I arrived, meaning... The sweat was pouring down like every crevice and crack on my body. But I am not going to complain because apparently it snowed today in Laurel, Maryland. And I'm so sick of the weather. I don't know what to do with myself. So, oh, hey, lighting. This looks, this lighting is good. You see this glow that it gives me? I'm tired, y'all. And I had um, a couple of beverages because it's going to be my birthday and I can do that. And I don't have to work until Thursday. And it's just Sunday, so I get to chill out. I get to, like, relax on my birthday. I want to try to find a spa and get my feet and my nails done and maybe a massage and just veg out. And that is about it. So, um, I will probably do a little mini diary every day. Well, I won't say every day. I will try to document this trip via video diary. So, keep on checking back. I don't know how often... I'm going to do it because maybe some days I don't have anything to talk about. But just wanted to let you guys know I made it safely. And yeah, see you soon.